to the third chapter. We're going to read the 12th through the 14th verse. Amen. If you would stand as we read the word of God. <clears throat> Hallelujah. All right, here we go. We're, we're going to the third chapter. I'm going to read the 12th through the 14th verse. And it reads, not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press ah, glory toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God ah, in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord for his word. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you this morning. We give you glory and honor. We give you the praise, God, for there is none like you. You alone are God. You are sovereign. And we give you glory this morning. God, we pray that your word would go forth with your spirit and with your power, with your anointing, O oh God. Lord, that you would put us in the background. God, that you may come to the forefront. Let your word go forth, O oh God. Send down your Sikana glory in this place. In the name of Jesus, let the preacher come, O oh God. For you are the preacher. God, and I am nothing without you. Lord, I give you glory and I give you praise. Bless this thy people. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. And amen. You may be seated. For our subject today, I'm going to simply use, it's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. Martin Luther King Jr. said that if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. The first step to getting somewhere is to decide that you are not going to stay where you are. The first step huh, to getting somewhere is to decide that you're not going to stay where you are. If you're not looking forward, you can't see what's coming. Hmm. You cannot move forward with your feet facing backward. Moving forward requires us to change. Change our thinking, our mindset. It requires us to change our habits. It requires us to change our circle of friends, our associations, our surroundings. It requires us to change our intake. What we watch on TV. What we listen to. What we allow our eyes to focus on and to look upon. And then what we allow our ear gates to hear. Paul said, let this mind be in you which was also in 
Christ Jesus. We must be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Not a metamorphosis which comes from the old, but a transformation which is something completely different. Transformation is a complete change from one thing to the other. It is an instantaneous change, not evolutionary. A metamorphosis takes a process of time, but transformation is instantaneous. No resemblance of the old. Because the old wasn't used to create what is. Sin is sin. And that's all it can be. That's all it can create. But if any man be in Christ, he is saved. A new creature. All things are passed away. And behold, all things are become new. God wants transformation. There's something called a transformer. And then there is a step up or a step down transformer. You can put a voltage in and that step up or step down transformer will either increase that voltage or it will step down that voltage. God says, I want you to go through my life. Transform. Yeah. Yeah. By yourself, you are not powerful enough to overcome what you face. By yourself, you're not strong enough to fend off the enemy. But if you go through my transform, yeah. hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. If you go through my step up, Transformer. Uh, I'll change you. I'll remake you. I'll create you anew. And those things which were impossible for you will now become possible because of Him. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Scripture says that the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent taketh it. By force. Yeah. How determined are you to move forward in divine destiny? All right. All right. The song says that my mind is made up. I'm on my way up. And I'm going to hold my head up. Going on with the Lord. God wants an unrelenting mind. A mind that doesn't change when the storms come. A mind that doesn't flip when the problems arise. When things are good, God is the first thing on our mind. When things go bad many times, God is somewhere else. We're trying to fix it on our own. God wants us to change our habits. Somebody said that the things I used to do, I don't do anymore. Insanity is doing the same things, but expecting a different result. Wanting to get closer to God, but haven't changed your habits. After Zacchaeus had his experience with Christ, he said, half of my goods, I give to the poor. Said, if I've taken anything by false accusation, I will restore to him fourfold. Isaiah said, with my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. Uh, then he says, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, and 
and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear uh, from heaven. I will forgive their sin and I heal their land. Glory, glory, glory. To change our circle of friends, we need to do that. Don't share our passion for God. There's no problem with being friends with those that are not saved. I have some of my own. But the issue is who is the influencer in the relationship? Because somebody is going to influence the other. So if you are the influencer in that relationship, there's nothing wrong with it. They know where you stand. They know where you are. They can't say, well, go to the bar with me because they know you ain't going. They can't say, go to the club with me because they know you ain't going. Hallelujah. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing. Yes. And I will receive you. Yes. Isaiah said, Woe is me, for I am undone. I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. Sometimes God is trying to remove us from that place of comfort and security. To bring us to our destiny. But that means letting go of you. And grabbing a hold of God. See God is a God of routine. But he's also a God of spontaneity. See many times we've gotten into a routine. We're going to pray at such and such a time. We go to church at such and such a time. And that's all the time that we give God. But God says, if you really want me, if you really want my power, if you really want my spirit, give me some more. Change it up. I know my prayer time is at five, but God, I got an hour, and I want to start early and start at four o'clock. God says, when things are easy and comfortable, you don't seek me. But when things are changing and unsettled, I keep your attention. And it's in that attentive state that I can come closer to you and you to me. Then lastly, to change our intake. The psalmist said that my soul longeth, yea, even fainted for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cried out. For the living God. Zoma said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law do it he meditate day and night. Psalms 42 and 1 says, as the heart panteth after the water brook, so panteth my soul after the old God. John said that he must increase, but I must. Song says, I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour, I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. Uh, in the book of Hebrews, Enoch walked with God so close. He woke up with him, went through the day walking and talking. With God. He was so connected to God that he stayed in perfect harmony with God. So much so that he said and he had a testimony that he pleased God. Uh, but here in our text, Paul says, But what things were gained to me? Those I counted lost for Christ. Yea, God in this, and those things. That began to me, I count loss and I count them as dumb. That I might win Christ. 
Christ. He said that, that I might be in him. That I might be uh, what he would have me to be. To be found in him. With his power and with his glory. Uh, that I may know him. And the power of his resurrection. And the fellowship of his suffering. Not as though I had already attained. Either were already perfect. But I follow after. That I may attain. If that also I may apprehend. That of Jesus Christ. He said, but brethren, I count not myself. To have apprehended. But this one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind. And pressing forward to the things which are before. He said, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. I'm not going back. I'm not turning back. I'm not looking back. But I'm pressing forward. I'm moving forward. This is not the time to stop now. This is not the time to slow down. This is the time to accelerate. To accelerate in God. To accelerate your praise. To accelerate his hope. To accelerate his honor. This is the time. It's time to cast off. In table minutes. Cast off. Cast off the weight. Cast off the sin. Cast off the iniquity. Cast off the double mind. Glory to God. Lift your hands to God. And tell the Lord yes. Tell him yes. Tell him yes. Glory to God. Bless the name of the Lord. In the book of Exodus. I heard when the children of Israel had left Egypt. God had told Moses to count them down by the Red Sea. And when they were down there, they were comfortable. They had no fear. They were feeling pretty good. But after a while, they looked back and they saw Pharaoh coming. And the Bible said they began to fear. And they started crying out to God. And then they started complaining and started blaming Moses. This is what they told him. We told you to let us alone. We told you to leave us in Egypt. We told you to stop bothering us. It was better that we had stayed in Egypt than to die in the wilderness. But I heard Moses say, fear not, but you shall see the power of God today. The Egyptians that you see, you may see them today, but you won't see them no more. Here after that, and I heard God say, wherefore Christ unto me, tell the people to go forward. Tell the people to move forward. Let me tell you, the position they were in, Pharaoh was in the back of them. There were mountains on the left side. There were mountains on the right side. And there was the Red Sea in front of them. Glory to God. Let me tell you, what do you see in front of you? I see an obstacle. I see an impossible mission. I see the Red Sea. I see cancer. I see diabetes. I see COVID. I see depression. I see defeat. It's easy to say I'm going back to my garlic. I'm going back to my leeks and onions. It was familiar. It was comfortable. I wasn't being challenged to grow. I wasn't being pushed to expand. I didn't have to use faith because it was what it was what it was. I didn't have to see what I couldn't see. I didn't have to hope for what I didn't have. Now I'm being told to go forward. Go forward in an impossible direction. Go forward and do what you've never done before. Go forward and go where you've never gone before. Go forward and see what you've never seen before. Go forward and do what you've never been before. It may seem impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Move forward, lift up, lift up your rod, lift up, lift up your faith, stretch out, stretch out your faith, 
I heard the psalmist say, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Use the word and watch God make a path through your Red Sea. Watch God move for you. Watch God stir things up for you. Move forward. Go forward. Walk on. Move forward in God. Move forward in his power. Move forward in his spirit. Move forward in anointing. Move forward. Step. Step on. Step into destiny. Step into your promise. Step into larger territory. Step. God said step on. Stop standing by the bench. Stop standing not knowing where to go. Not knowing what to do. God said step. Step. And the highway shall be there. And the way. And it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it. But it shall be for those. The wayfaring men. Those fools shall not air their end. No lion shall be there, no any ravenous beast shall go up their own, but it shall be for those, the wayfaring in, the redeemed shall walk there, the redeemed shall walk there, glory to God, hallelujah, 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 glory to God, hallelujah, glory, it's time. To move forward. It's time. It's time to move forward. Hallelujah. Hit the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody is standing by the bench. Standing by the bench. Say Standing by the bench. God said, move forward. Move in my power. Move in my glory. Move in my spirit. Don't stand by the bank. Don't stand by the top. But get in to the water. Get in to his spirit. Get in to his power. It's time, it's time. It's time, it's time. It's time to move. Behold, I will do a new thing. In you, a new thing. In you, a new thing. In you. In you. I have not seen it. The ear has not heard. Neither have it entered into the heart of man. Things that God prepared. Hallelujah. 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 He's speaking to somebody's heart right now. Hallelujah. He's speaking to your heart right now. Right now. Though that God is speaking to you, I just want you to lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Hallelujah. 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 Say, Lord, it's me. Lord, it's me. Yata. Lord, it's me. It's me, oh God. It's me, oh Lord. I want to go forward. I want to go forward. I want to go forward. I want to go forward, Lord. I want to go forward. Nothing hindering me. Nothing stopping me. Nothing holding me. Nothing, oh God. Forward in you. Forward in your power. Forward in your anointing. Create in me, oh God. Enter a clean heart. And renew a right spirit within me. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I hear in my spirit. Somebody tell the Lord, yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, in my